Welcome. Today's presentation is on higher purchase and we are going to learn how to calculate the rate of interest. So the question reads, the cash price of a music system is 30,000 Kenyan shillings. Magomba bought it on higher purchase terms by paying a down payment of 10,000 Kenyan shillings and 12 monthly installments of 3,200 per month. Then calculate the rate of interest charged per month. So in this question, remember Mr. Magomba had two options, either pay cash or higher purchase. So he opts to pay on higher purchase. So the amount that was supposed to be paid originally, that is the cash price is 30,000 Kenyan shillings. But Magomba decides to pay on higher purchase terms and therefore he pays 10,000 as deposit and that simply means that whatever is remaining to be paid is 30,000 minus the 10,000 that has been paid and that we will treat as the principal. So that is what is remaining. So we call it principal for this case and we'll simply have 30,000 minus 10,000 and that is 20,000. So this amount here is supposed to be paid in installments and during the payment it will accrue some interest. So it is the rate of that interest we are required to calculate. So at this particular point we need to determine the installments and the installments we are told that each is 3200 per month and there are 12 months so total installments should be 3200 times the 12 months and this should be 38400 Kenyan shillings so in order to determine the interest We'll simply have the compound interest formula, which is given by amount is equal to principal into one plus the rate over 100 raised to power n. And for this case, the amount should be equivalent to the installments. Which for this case is 38,400. Then N is the period, so we are told that happens in a period of 12 months. So we have 12. And the principle we'd already worked out earlier on. So what is remaining for us to determine is the value of R. So we can now do our substitution in the compound interest formula. So the amount we already have as 38,400 and we equate that to principal which is 20,000 by 1 plus R over 100 raised to power 12. So at this particular step we can divide both sides by 20,000 and when you do that this will cancel and then on the left hand side we have 1.92 and then on the right hand side we have 1 plus r over 100 raised to power 12. At this particular step we will therefore get the 12th root on both sides of the equation so on the left hand side we have the 12th root of 1.92 and on the right hand side you also have the 12th root of 1 plus r over 100 raised to power 12. So on the left hand side we will have 1.055865 from my calculator and then on the right hand side the root sign disappears so that we have 1 plus r or 100. So taking 1 to the left hand side we subtract and have 
zero point zero five five eight six five is equal to R over one hundred and then cross multiplying R becomes five point five eight six five percent so that is the rate of interest charged and that is it for this question thank you for watching hope to see you in the next video